It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer, joined by Chris, Real Ale 140. How are you doing? Likes a good handshake. Yeah. Today, um, well, I've reviewed the Ding Dong, um, the Christmas beer from Stroud Brewery. Um, they like my review, so they sent me some beer. Uh, Chris has just tried the other bottle of Ding Dong, and, and yeah, it's good. That's a tidy beer, yeah. It's a good it's Christmas beer. It's one of the beer. nicer Christmas beers I've had, actually, and, and I'll put it above some of the other standard classics. And What's the badger one? Badger Christmas Ale or whatever it is. Yeah. It's great, yeah, it's fine, but actually the, the Stroud one I think was better. The Ding Dong, we just had it about half an hour ago. But a bit more nuanced. Yeah, but I, I tell you what I have noticed about this brewery is their beers, the, the ABVs are quite high. Yeah. They're all like 6.97%. They make which, them strong in Gloucester. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're good, boy, good. They're good old farm boys. Though. They're always yeah. drinking Perry at like 9%. <laughs> with like rats foreskin in it and stuff like that. You know, that's how it works down there. <laughs> awesome. Um, Chris, Chris is a Bristolian, so he kind of knows all about these different things. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bottle of Gagarang Village Sumatran Coffee Ale at 6.9% ABV. Um, yeah, it looks great. I love the label. I love the label. Uh, I, uh, oh, oh, steady on. We got a gusher. Uh, Do you know, I think, in all honesty, that just reminded me, they sent me a letter. <laughs> One of the... <laughs> watch out for that, does it? Yeah. yeah. One of the beers is a bit lively. So I'm guessing right, it's that it, one. It so uh, Oh, it's not too bad, that one. That one wasn't too bad. This is what it looks like when you don't bust, bust a cap in his ass. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Lovely jubbly. So nice carbonation on, yeah. the, on your one. Nice, nice head on the beer. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone lovely. Well, one finger head, really. Mine's a little bit different. It's kind of emptied out everywhere, but beer, live beer is live beer. You yeah. have to take it as it is. I'm not going to complain. I've still got more or less a full glass of beer. Yeah. Um, cheers. Let's get the aroma on this rather dark porter-like coloured beer. It's dark, it's a tiny, tiny touch of redness in there, isn't there? And, and then mm. they've got this nice mock coloured head, which is rapidly dissipating, actually. Yeah. And that's just yeah. lovely chocolatey coffee kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like chocolatey coffee is the perfect word for it. It, it is, it's, it's like smelling Starbucks. Um, yeah, I, mean, I suppose when being more, trying more precise, it, when I say chocolate, I don't mean like a Yorkie or, or you know, bar of dairy milk or whatever. This is, this is your your top end kind of fancy stuff that you get from Waitrose that has corner sea salt and lime in it or whatever. You know? Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is, you know, this yeah. Is good quality chocolate and good quality coffee. You were not talking Nescafe here. Yeah. It's it it it's bitter and sweet all at the same time. Also, it's it's yeah. It's a real sniffer. You could stand and sniff it all this is day. The second beer we've had like this. Yeah, yeah. second beer. What's the, this is six point nine percent. So I, I organic and vegan as well. So no meat in it. Amazing, great. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Very coffee-ish. Mm. Lovely, isn't it? Really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just taking that in. This carbonate, it's a difficult one because it's got a nice medium mouthfeel, it's nicely carbonated. Um, it You get the roasted malt. Yeah. You do get that roasted malt in maybe, there. Maybe a tiny, tiny touch of kind of black malt in there. Mm. Just just uh, on the edges. I, I may be wrong, maybe wrong, but there's a, that, that burntness. Yeah, and, absolutely. And right at the back of it, you know? Yeah, I'm picking up, I'm definitely picking up the roasted malt in it. And then the coffee is like giving it a kick of the backside. It's yeah. saying, go on, roasted malt, have a bit more. Yeah, yeah, and, and just continue that. Yeah. Rah, rah, like that into your mouth. Yeah, it's more of a a bitterness from the, the coffee and a bitterness from that roasted malt rather than a bitterness from the hop, I yeah, think. Yeah, which is what you're used to. It's a it? big, yeah. malty Gloucestershire brew, isn't it? Mm. Where are these guys based in Gloucestershire? It's Strode, isn't it? Mm. What do they say on there? I like roast, uh, like from the Beanberry Coffee Company from the Indianese Islands. Well, it's collab maybe a collaboration then with but them. It's not one of those things where they've like, got the coffee shoved through a weasel and then the weasel's crapped out and then <laughs> they turn it into coffee. No, no, this is the standard <laughs> stuff, yeah. <laughs> Don't get worried. I should have read the label before we started this. <laughs> as I, as I, as I'm drinking the beer, 
Um, I'm taking kind of nice sips. I like my coffee and, and I'm probably due a cup of coffee now, so it's why I'm drinking it quite quickly. I can feel a nice tickle in the stomach from the alcohol, that nice mm. warming sensation you get yeah. in the pit of the stomach. This is a very, very good quality beer and I don't mm. feel, you could probably, no, you wouldn't drink it all day long, but I think you could drink it and not really feel too much of the after effects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, it do doesn't feel like I've had, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this beer. Yeah. And actually, the flavour profile gives you enough of a warning that you go, yeah, I'll drink this steadily because I know that it's, mm. it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's higher up on the ABV. Not that there's an alcohol burn, but this is a beer that's telling you respect it. And actually, the flavour profile is saying, take me slowly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Just but take your time. Yeah. There's no need to rush. Warm me up first. No Ease it in like a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> Now I got I got to ask a question. We just talked about Seba in the last review. Mm. Uh, we just did the North Wales brewery beer. Surely this these guys would come under Wales and West I'd have thought in the so. Seba yeah, competition. I'm, I'm so. surprised I've not seen the Stroud brewery at, at, in Ludlow. Admittedly, I've not been for about three years now. I seem to land in Poland that time of year. But Chris has been, and have you? I think we we may have seen them. But I don't think I've had anything this sophisticated from them before. I think mm. they've probably been sort of more kind of solid ales. Yeah. And I don't, maybe there's a new brewer there. I don't, you tell me, it's Brewery. You know, they might what, have fallen what, in the, the southwest or yeah. region of Seba or... But so, as somebody new come in, mm. you know, somebody a bit fancy, a bit clever, you know, um, and, and changed, the, uh, changed up the, the game. It's a beer, as Chris mentioned... It's six point nine percent ABV. This is not a sessional beer. You're not gonna you're not gonna sit at the bar and drink four pints of this with a newspaper. No, no. It's it's a beer that that you'd drink one of maybe at the end of the night and then and then either have one more beer after that or or, or say right I've had enough I'm going home. Yeah, yeah. The wife's gonna be furious now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That it is. It seems to be one of them beers, which which is or, good in its own way because it stops you going to the top shops, yeah. ordering a whiskey or something else. Have a strong ale instead. But yeah, yeah, and that's a great idea. Just don't don't feel you need to like get blasted. I'm sure, I'd certainly never drink scotch or anything. Yeah. With anything other than water, but actually, a good quality ale can be the thing that sees you off out into the night. It'll warm you up. Exactly. It'll see you right. Yeah. And actually. You're not going to get hammered off a little dinky little bit of fluid like that. You can have this. And actually, you know, the same works for at home. You can, you can make this last for an hour. Easy. Sat in front of Easy. The it's a nice relaxing beer. Talking about uh, the other beer reminded me of what industry, because the name is industry and the label, but, but Gloucestershire has a... I was in Gloucester Docks um, mm. in February, uh, April even, of this year, brewing a collaboration with Gloucester Brewery, in fact. Mm. And there's so much big industrial brewery uh, history, and, there, right? history and, and, and places on the dockside that a beer was probably <clears throat> they probably looked into the history of the area and said right okay people back in the day when it was heavy industry in the UK there's not so much of it anymore mm. would have wanted a 6.9% ABV beer to to, to blow, blow away all that dust that they've, they've inhaled during the day Maybe, I mean, the odds are they probably would have wanted a 3.5% beer to get yeah. six to pints of it to get rid of all the coal dust from that, mm. that their lungs. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You know, ignoring basic human physiology, I, mean, I know drinking doesn't get stuff out of your lungs. <laughs> Not even unless you're doing it wrong. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I yeah. But maybe, yeah, it's stout, that, that tradition of stout, it, you know, it, it has come from that, that kind of, you know, the initial weak, kind of weak porter. Stout, it just means strong mm. beer, you know. And mm. Is this a stout? Is this a porter? I mean, is it, they've, they've labelled it as an L. It's a funny thing, this mm. shifting labels thing, you know. I, I bang this into strong kind of porter range, which then affected yeah. me into stout, but actually the flavour profile for me, is more portery and yeah, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's got the colour of a stout or a porter, definitely. Mm. I think maybe maybe that's the coffee colour in the beer a little bit more than normal. But uh, go on, rate him. How are you going to rate this? It's a really good beer, um, and I would happily give this. It's difficult. I I always feel like I'm giving very positive ratings here, but these days I just don't drink much beer that isn't much cop. Mm, mm, yeah, um, yeah. Although this is a complete first, I've never had this before, this is a lucky beer. Yeah. I'm going to give it a nine. Yeah. Great beer. 
yeah, I'm going to join Chris on a nine out of ten. Um, it's a great beer. Um, it was it was it was a good beer before before we were kind of wrestling with the bottle. Chris was grabbing and we were like this with it, and then we ended up clashing heads, and and that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> nine out of ten. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Check this guy out. Real Eleven Forty. And cheers.